Hi everyone! So we're already halfway through November, and for me that just means one thing. Turkey! Come along as I learn new tips, tricks, and techniques to incorporate into my own style of drawing. So to start out this guy, you're going to want to draw a circle. This will act as both the head and body. For the tail, I like to use guidelines to get an idea for how far the plume will spread. But as you can see here, I decided to go with a larger size tail span. Now for the feet and wings. Using the cross guides as reference, now we add the eyes and beak. For this guy, I chose to go with a simple wide-eyed look, but you can modify this any way you like. Don't forget his waddle! One thing I love about sketching out the character first is that it allows you to experiment with different ideas. While I lightly drew this top feather, I more than likely won't keep it when I finish this guy in color. Pause a moment to remove my cat off the table. And let's continue on darkening the outline and adding final detail. Move the cat again and add some shading. Time to digitize this turkey. So what I did was take a photo of my sketch and import it into the application. I also turned the opacity of the image down to lighten it. This makes it easier to see the finished outline over the original sketch. Now using the vector tools, I basically go over my sketch to create a clean outline or stroke. Personally, I prefer working with a vector software such as CorelDRAW or Illustrator. However, I recently have begun using my iPad more than a computer. The software choice for me then is iDraw. I'll leave a link in the description below for anyone interested in checking it out.
This wing is being a tad difficult. Once the outline is complete, we can add the color fills. For this turkey, I decided to go with a traditional color palette, but you can make him as wild as you want. Ah! Yeah, not this time. Now that the shape fills are complete, it's time to add some simple shading. like I didn't color in the lines. That's better. All that's left is to add a background and don't forget to sign your work. And here we have our turkey. So I hope you guys have fun with this little turkey day tutorial and I'd love to see what you come up with. So make sure you share your little turkeys with me by using hashtag BRKDoodle. Thanks everyone and have a happy Thanksgiving.